वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स हेयर आई विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ऑन फिफ्टीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एलिमेंट्स इज मोस्ट मेटेलिक इन नेचर सो हेयर आर सम फिफ्टीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स ऑप्शन ए इज फॉस्फोरस ऑर्सेनिक एंटीमनी एंड बिस्मल एज वी नो डेट ऑन मूविंग डाउन द ग्रुप the metallic character increases and due to increase in metallic character since bismuth is the last element of group 15 or the or uh, it is at the bottom of the group 15 so bismuth will have most metallic character among the metals or among the elements of group 15 question second which of the following statements is not correct for hydrogen option 1 its molecular size is small its electronegativity is very high d block orbitals are available for bonding and it is a typical non metal so the correct answer for this question is since question is saying which of the statement is not correct so the not correct statement for nitrogen is option c since nitrogen do not have d orbital available for bonding it do not have d orbital in its valency shell and we know that option first is correct because nitrogen is smaller in size its molecular size is small and it has very highly electronegativity because we know that as we move down the group electronegativity goes decreases so the first element of the group will have highest electronegativity and nitrogen is the first element so nitrogen will have highest electronegativity and option 4 it is a typical non metal as we have already discussed in question first on moving down the group metallic character increases so nitrogen being the first element of group 15 it will it will be a non metal so nitrogen will be a typical non metal so the option c will be correct for question second question 3 what causes nitrogen to be chemically inert options are high bond energy absence of bond polarity short internuclear distance multiple bond formation in the molecule so the correct answer for this question is option first high bond energy as we know that nitrogen has very high bond energy so uh, it is very difficult to break the bonds of nitrogen it is require very high energy to break the bond due to this nitrogen behaves chemically inert and the bond energy for nitrogen is 941.4 kJ per mole and it is very high due to this it is it act as chemically inert compound question 4 which of the following have highest ionization enthalpy options are phosphorus nitrogen arsenic antimony so the correct answer is highest ionization enthalpy is of nitrogen why it is so it is due to its smaller size and we know that as we move down the group the value of ionization enthalpy decreases and uh, being smaller in size nitrogen will have the highest ionization enthalpy among group 50 and also as we move down the group due to increase in nuclear uh, due to increase in atomic size the value of ionization enthalpy decreases so nitrogen uh, have smaller size so it will have highest ionization enthalpy question 5 correct order of bond angle of hydrides of group 50 so here the some orders are given in in four questions and you have to assign a correct order for the hydride bond angle of hydrides of group 15 and as we know that the bond angle of ammonia is very or uh, it is large among all the hydrides of group 15 so the ans option first will be correct where ammonia has highest bond order as compared to ph3 ash3 and sbs3 due to smaller size of nitrogen the repulsion between the electrons of nitrogen uh, as nitrogen as all have the lone pair of electron due to, due to the repulsion between the electron and uh, electrons of bond pair in ammonia due to smaller size of nitrogen the bond angle of ammonia the angle between nitrogen and hydrogen will get enlarged and due to this the uh, bond angle of ammonia will be greater than ph3 then ash3 and then sbh3 question 
among the following hydrides which is the strongest reducing agent and the hydrides given are ammonia nh3 ph3 sbh3 ash3 so here uh, the reducing character of the group element of group 15 it gets increases as we move down the group so the element which will be uh, at the down of the group that will have the highest reducing agent uh, character so here the highest uh, strongest reducing agent will be sbh3 now why it is sbh3 because we know that as we move down the group reducing character or reducing nature of reducing agent increases why it is increases because reducing nature depends upon the stability of the compound as the stability of the compound decreases the reducing character increases so agar hum down the group move karenge kyunki atomic size badh raha hai to jo stability hai bonds ke beech ki wo weak hogi aur jitni stability weak hogi utna uska reducing character increase hoga wo break hoga bond aur utna uska uh, reducing character increase hota rahega so sbh3 will have highest reducing character due to less stability and due to its larger size as compared to the other elements or other elements of group 15 which is present in this question question 7 which of the following fluorides does not exist so the uh, options are nf5 pf5 as f5 sbf5 so the correct answer for this question is option a nf5 nf5 nitrogen fluoride does not exist why this is so this is due to the as we have already discussed in the reactivity of group 15 elements reactivity towards halogen nitrogen do not form nitrogen do not form oxides nitrogen do not have d orbital in its valency shell so nitrogen can't expand its octet beyond up to 5 a plus 5 oxidation state due to its smaller size so nf5 or nx5 type compounds for nitrogen are not exist so nitrogen do not form uh, halides using its plus 5 oxidation state because of its uh, because of the absence of d orbital in its valency shell come to question number 8 which of the following possesses the covalency of nitrogen equal to 4 and on uh, the this covalency of nitrogen can only be calculated by drawing the structure of ni these nitrogen oxides as we draw the structure of these we we will conclude that the nitrogen uh, the ni uh, covalency means the tendency to form the bond so in n2o5 the correct answer for this question is n2o5 option b so in n2o5 nitrogen forms or nitrogen forms only four bonds with oxygen in which three bonds are three it as uh, in which three bonds are coordinate bond but one bond is uh, sorry three bonds are covalent bond but the one bond is a coordinate bond in which nitrogen donates is two electron to the oxygen so n2o5 in n2o5 the covalency of nitrogen is four question 9 pure nitrogen gas is obtained in laboratory from which of the following reaction so uh, as you do the reaction the option b nh4cl plus nano2 when they both combine they form n2 plus h2 in the laboratory so the form pure nitrogen gas can be obtained by the combination of ammonium chloride and sodium nitrate Question ten in Haber's process for the manufacture of ammonia, option is finally divided nickel is used as a catalyst, finally divided platinum is used as a catalyst, finally divided iron is used as a catalyst, and finally divided molybdenum is used as a is a as a catalyst. So the correct option for this is in Haber's process there is the catalyst used that is iron, and molybdenum is the promoter which is used in the uh, manufacture of ammonia which is combines with iron where iron is the catalyst where molybdenum is the uh, is the 
promoter which enhances the activity of catalyst iron in the manufacture of ammonia question 11 the shape of ammonia molecule is planar triangle pyramidal tetrahedral or octahedral so the correct answer is pyramidal ammonia has pyramidal structure in which it has one lone pair of electron and three bond pairs which is combining with hydrogen uh, it, it forms three bonds pay, three bond pairs with hydrogen and remaining two electrons will act as one lone pair in it so the structure or uh, or the shape of ammonia is pyramidal question 12 which oxide of nitrogen is obtained on reacting equimolar amount of two gases so uh, here you have to find the oxide which is formed by reacting two equimolar amounts uh, equimolar amounts of two acids so the answer for this question is uh, di nitrogen trioxide is formed by combining the two uh, by combining the equimolar amount of two gases and the two gases are no plus no2 when no and no2 combine in equimolar amount they produces n2o3 dinitrogen trioxide question 13 which of the following element will form acidic oxide of type e2o3 options are arsenic antimony phosphorus and bismuth so the correct option correct answer for this is phosphorus as we know that oxides of group 15 can be formed in the form of e2o3 and the oxide or the acidic character of oxides of group 15 it it gets decreases as we move down the group as we move from nitrogen to bismuth the acidic character gets decreases and the as oxides of nitrogen and phosphorus they are acidic whereas the oxides of arsenic is a weak acid oxide of antimony will be amphoteric in nature whereas the oxides of oxides formed by bismuth are are basic in nature so here the answer for this question which of the following elements will form the acidic oxide and here the phosphorus is the element which will form acidic oxide and and in group 15 nitrogen and phosphorus both have a tendency to form acidic acidic oxide because acidic character decreases as we move down the group Question 14 when ammonia is heated with cupric oxide CuO a molecule of ammonia will lose three electrons gain three electrons gain two electrons lose two electron so the correct answer for this is lose three electrons now why it loses three electron as we know that ammonia is a weak reducing agent of group 15 hydride but a special case in a special case on providing very high temperature ammonia even act as a reducing agent and ammonia has a tendency to reduce cuo cupric oxide to its reduced form it it reduces cupric oxide to copper as we know that in ammonia oxidation state of nitrogen is minus 3 and ammonia will act as a reducing agent in this case and as it act as a reducing agent it will it will reduce cuo cuo is a oxide it will reduce the cuo to cu and on as the reaction takes place cuo plus ammonia it will produce cu plus n2 plus h2o removal of water molecule will be there so what will happen ammonia will act as a reducing agent because it reduces cu cu o it is a oxide form of cu to two positive state of cu it reduces this cu o to cu zero oxidation state and itself gets oxidizes so and it means uh, if the uh, oxidation of ammonia is taking place it means ammonia will loses three electron to get converted into n2 and here in ammonia the oxidation state of nh3 uh, in ammonia oxidation state of nitrogen is minus 3 but in case of n2 the oxidation state comes to be zero so it loses three electron and becomes 
it loses three electron and becomes and get zero oxidation state so it will act as a reducing agent in a special case when you provide some temperature to uh, to this reaction then only ammonia will act as a reducing agent question number 15 concentrated nitric acid upon long standing turns yellow brown due to the formation of which option 1 is no n2o no2 n2o4 so the correct answer of this question is option c no2 nitrogen dioxide because on standing some time nitric acid hno3 gets loses or it's it get decomposes to no2 plus water and no2 is of yellow brown color so we get yellow brown color and no2 act as a impurity in this case so these are some questions some uh, solved mcq question now i have some practice questions for you do these questions and comment your answers in the comment box as well now some practice questions for you question first which of the following has the highest p pi p pi bonding tendency options are given question second the correct decreasing order of basic strength is and the order of basic strength is given you have to uh, take on one of the option in this the group 15 element which predominantly forms basic oxides is and some uh, examples are given of group 15 some other questions are also there question 4 5 6 2 these questions question 7 question 8 question 9 and question 10 so do these questions these are 10 question which which is given here do these questions and i will send answer as you as you come as you comment the answer in comment comment box i will provide you the answer to these question so thank you we will meet in our next video with our next topic so thanks for watching keep watching thank you very much